Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. I wanna show you guys something in the chicken coop. I put a pumpkin in there today and they do not know what to do with it. I'm probably not gonna be able to catch it, but look at that. That's one thing about breeding chickens. Sometimes you get like a diamond in the rough. Isn't it so cute? And it's weird, these chickens both look like the mom, even though that she's not the mom. But that's the one I wanted to show you guys. So stinking cute. Look at how cute she is. We think these are both girls, but we don't know. With our luck, it'll turn into a rooster. She just pushed him right off. That's not a very nice mom. You're not a very nice mom. Anyway, I just wanted to show you our black and white spotted chicken. So freaking cute. The chickens hear me come into the coop and then they all run inside from being outside because they think they still think I'm going to bring them food, which I do still sometimes bring them food. Yesterday when I came out here, this gate was open. Uh-oh, what is that about? Now that we have the grass fields locked off from the horses, they're eating the hay even faster. Oh my gosh. What in the world? Hold on, hold on, let me get this thing out. This guy got had a breeding accident. Basically, when he was trying to be breed, his girlfriend at the time, oh, it's good, caused him to break off a piece of his horn. And it's just like, um, he's been dehorned already, so it wasn't that big of a deal. I've been watching it and it's good now. Sorry, Piggy, I just stepped on you. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I can't squat down. I really like to squat down and pet him, but when you squat down in the boy field, it's not good. Or if you squat down in a goat field, they jump all over you. Oh, you're gonna lay down for me? Are you gonna lay down? Everybody's biting me. Oh my gosh. This, uh, I don't often, uh, <laughs> Gosh, I don't, oh, I don't often get him to lay down for me. Lay down there, little guy. He won't stay because of the goats. <laughs> Winston, you're always in the way. Today's the first day he actually looks dirty. It's been super cold out up until the last couple of days, so we haven't filled up their pool, and it's gonna be cold again in a couple more days after tomorrow. So I'm debating if I should fill up his pool. He's a little bit dirty, and normally he's never dirty, but also he emptied his bucket of water. They can reach, the pigs can reach the, the electric waters now, but I still like to put out fresh water for him just because then he doesn't have to climb up. Sam and I are trying to figure out a new spot to put the pigs because pigs, uh oh, get out. <laughs> She's mad. How dare you put me out? Pigs <laughs> take forever to eat their breakfast. And, okay, so pigs take forever to eat their breakfast. They're so slow. Oh my gosh, look at this. The queen bee. Is that a sign that you're about to have babies? Are you pregnant? Are you pregnant there, little girl? It's actually not safe to sit in the girl's field either because if you do, you may have one goat or two goats ready to jump on you at any minute. Sometimes I just feel like I need to come down and be with Posey though. Posey is one of the big, huge loves of my life. I love her so much. She's so special to me. If you're wondering why the camera keeps on shaking, it's because this girl keeps headbutting me. It's her new thing. It's her favorite thing. I should have brought an apple. I just finished eating an apple. I should have brought apples for you. She can smell it. <laughs> I really want to make this goat friendly. We've had her for two years now. And this is our second year with her. We got her when she was one. And she had a baby already. Wow. And she's not friendly. But the reason that I keep her is because... Even though she's not friendly with people, she's, and she's not really, she's like the dominant goat, so she's kind of like mean with the other, with the other goats, but she is such a good mom, like such a good mom, and they're doing it at the same time, but also she's such a good grandma. She like, if you ever get to a time where, um, uh, God forbid, like a doe dies and then we have to raise her babies, that goat is literally the goat that would raise anybody else's babies like she's still a bit young 
and temperamental, but she loves the babies. Like she is the best grandma. When all the little goats are born in the spring and they all come out for the first time, that mama goat literally just loves them all. Like she even lets other goats nurse off of her and she's like the meanest goat, but she's just so good to have around. Yes. No, don't eat the camera. Oh, ow. Anyways, I am being attacked now. <laughs> totally being attacked now. Hi, Lola. But it's only when I'm down here and I'm quiet and I'm just sitting here and hanging out. That's the only time that these guys come up to me in the field. Cricket will come up sometimes when she's in her stall. But Lola, even though we hand raised her for half of her childhood, she's shy. Uh-oh. Don't worry. Don't worry. Can you get me the clippers? Listen, <laughs> stop headbutting me. She does not have horns, but she has, she's pulled. So she'll never grow horns, but she has these little tiny bumps, hard bumps right here. It doesn't feel nice. Thanks. I posted a video of Sophie's birthday ride, which is like so much fun. I loved it so much. I loved Lady, who seemed super confident and super into it. And I loved Sophie, who was super confident and super into it. And they both, like, Sophie and, and Lady are like the same person, man. Like, they get each other. Like, there was no way that they were not going to connect. Like, they just get each other. But, yes, I know. I want to rub you, too. It's just that this this goat won't leave me. So I've been posting videos of their her ride. I posted this one where a lady did the lead change. If you didn't see the video, it was the cutest thing. It was like a birthday present for Sophie. Oh, you're getting chunky. So, um, lady's like all new to riding. Like, so she's, and she's even new to cantering. And she's doing so, so well. But anyway, I see like the same kind of comments time and time again of, um, but people who don't fully understand about Lady. So she's a Dutch harness horse crossed with a Clydesdale. So she's got that big body. Hi. And she is super strong, but she still has like her face and her markings and her color and everything really looks like a Clydesdale. But her back end, she has the back end of a Dutch harness horse. And someone in the comments said that they thought when Lady Cantor, she looks like a Frisian cantering. And yeah, it's like almost a kind of, it's kind of almost the same thing. So Dutch harness horses have more of a flat croup. Because their croup is flatter, um, they move differently. Like they just move differently. Perfectly designed for pulling a cart because of that flat croup, it helps them to get more ground covering strides, I guess is what I should say, I guess is what I mean. And so she's perfect for that. She's built for pulling a cart, which is what she did. That doesn't mean that she can't jump and she can't do other things. It just means that she has a different body. She has a different body type. It's different conformation and a different body type than like um, quarter horse. Definitely gonna look different. She's strong though. That girl is strong. When we first got her, her back end, oh, you're so cute. Her back end wasn't as strong in the canter because she hardly had ever cantered before. But Sophie's worked her up, but she's worked up really, really well. Like she's really good at it now. Like she's, she likes to canter. She's, she's getting, she used to have some anxiety in the canter and she's getting better and better every single ride. And, and her and Sophie are doing fantastic together. But I just wanted to share that with you about the confirmation about her breed. She's built like her breed. And so uh, probably for the rest of her life, when she canters, she's always going to have like that, that, that flat croup like she's always gonna have it it's just how she's built you don't have to worry she's okay it's just her body it's just how she's built right <laughs> like honestly oh my gosh where were you you stink oh where was she oh my gosh well guess what you're getting a bath every time i come out here and i lay with her i like try and trick her into letting me cut her toenails <laughs> and usually I can cut like half of like I can cut one foot at a time before she throws a little fit and jumps up so I'm going to try and do that but I also wanted to say wait lay down there I also wanted to say though that I love all the different breeds <laughs> don't roll down the hill 
<laughs> oh my goodness. I also wanted to say that I actually love all the different breeds that God has brought into our life because we've been able to learn so much. Like reading up on the harness horse and the Clydesdale and all the things has really taught us so much. And you can't know everything about every horse and every horse breed until like until a time comes where you're interested in that. So I'm definitely thankful for all the knowledge that Lady's bringing into our life. The way this little guy's calling out and making so much noise makes me think that somebody is in heat, that he thinks somebody's in heat. It is still glorious weather out here. It's a little bit cooler than it is during the, like it, when it gets really hot in the day, it's only for a couple of hours. What are you doing? Uh, are we ready to? Taking this out so it's going to the gold bar. Yeah, I'm ready. I get excited to do work. When anybody else wants to do work, I'm so, I'm always so pumped. Like, let's do it. You don't think we're gonna need this again for the chickens? No room for the chickens. There's nowhere to put it. Oh, oh my gosh. It is heavy. Oh, okay, so it. let's just dump it upside down. Yeah. Get all the junk out. So I told you guys the reason that we're putting this in the goat barn. Should we put it on its side like this? Then they can go on top. Of maybe cutting a hole. So well. You can go in it. Or do you want it on the side like that? Oh, it can be the side like that. If we leave it on the I side. How sturdy it is, though, see? Oh my gosh, the goats are not that heavy. Like, uh, oh, I think it's fine. You think it's sturdy enough? Yeah, I it? mean, it's on a it's on a thing. But it's like... Yeah, all right, we can do that on the side. Yeah, we'll put it on the side. We'll put what some straw cool? in there so they can sleep inside if they want. Yeah. Is it gonna fit there? But how are they going to get up on top of that? They jump there. I know, but so it's higher. It's probably higher this way than it is down, right? So one of the reasons it's good if we put it on its side like that is because I could put eventually like a heat lamp or something in there, and then the babies could go in there, or even without a heat lamp, the babies could like cuddle in there. It'd be warmer. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, you'll see. If they can't jump it, then we'll put another block. Never too old to swing, you guys. Never. It feels amazing no matter how old you are. Say what you wanna say to me. I don't need your sympathy. I just need to let you go. Hard A, cause what doesn't bend will break. What is keeping me away is the fact that you will die. When I see you there with what's your name But the memories come back to me I just turn my So uh, Sophie's computer has not come yet And we are wishing it would come I can't wait to see it Are you excited? It's in transit Yeah, so hopefully tomorrow Yeah We are going to see who's going to get it. <laughs> it's not going to be Posey. She has her own stall. It's going to end up being Blossom. Because it's probably going to be Blossom. Are you excited it's Blossom? No. The reason that we may put that in there is because the goats fight over that first right, stall. Well, Tilly gets it. Tilly gets it. She's not Tilly, you're going to be... Oh, Blossom's looking. She's like, whoa, I picked room number one. You get room number two, but look, it's a surprise. <laughs> She's not going to go in. Whoa! 
Oh, look at that. It's like, why is my stall a little smaller? She's like, what is happening? It's fit for a queen. I don't think she's gonna be able to get up on that. I think she will. Get up there, you'll be the queen. Uh oh, she's figuring it out, you guys. Goats are smart. This is how they like destroy life because they just spend all their time figuring things out. Come on, get up there. You should put her food up there and see if that works. We're gonna step away and see what happens because in my experience, everything happens. Everything happens when you're not looking. She wants to go up, but she's afraid of the jump. Sophie says it's too big of a jump. I don't think it's too big of a jump. Goats are like Houdinis. Oh, that box is slippery. That's why. All right, we're gonna try, move it back a bit. I don't think that's gonna work, but it's not slippery. It's too small. Yeah, too small. She's like, wow, it's like Christmas for me. <laughs> try that one. Well, we'll come back in the morning and she'll be up there. Guaranteed because she doesn't like any other goat to be higher than her. I feel like Blossom would be up there already. Blossom's a chicken. All right. <laughs> she really wants it. We're gonna leave. We're gonna leave. I don't know how she got so friendly. Cause you babied her. You treated I her. I held like... her like three times and poof, she was friendly. She's a sweet right. goat. She definitely likes the brick better. It's so high, you'd be the queen of the castle if you got up there. She's like, I want the easier run through this. I'll watch on the camera and see if she gets it. But she's probably gonna be up there by the morning, I'm sure of it. Night, everybody. See you guys tomorrow. Don't you know that you're beautiful? Just the